Ireland, Tom O'Connor. Well, I had been a school teacher. I'd just turned pro because I was working in the clubs as a, a comic and after dinner speaker. And then I won opportunity knocks. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom O'Connor. And whilst I was winning it three weeks running, Bernard Delfont and Cole were up in the control box saying, who's this fella? And they said, well, he's a comedian. He doesn't tell any blue jokes. He used to teach maths and music. And he said, I've got a game show that involves music and has to have a mathematical brain. He's the man. I hosted uh, Name That Tune from 76 to 83. It started its life in the middle of a big production called London Night Out, when it only ran for a quarter of an hour. But for the last five years, it was a, a half-hour stand-up on its own. It's a very strong show. And we were never less than six in the ratings in all the times we ever did that. The secret of Name That Tune is that you don't need a cap and gown to play it. Everybody knows tunes, and we can all play. We didn't give exorbitant prizes away. I mean, subsequently we ended up giving away a car, but up to that it was never more than a thousand pounds. So it was a fun show, family show. I had to say this: name that tune. For fifty pounds, name that tune. Now the reason I had to say that was not drama. It was so the band leader could count the banding, because as I was saying, name that tune, he was going two, three, four, and the band came in right on the on the dots. As I stuck my finger out, bing, first note. The thing that hurts me today when I watch game shows, we were drilled never to walk away from a loser. Today, that, that's the essence of the show, making you look uh, an idiot and we'll uh, analyse why you're an idiot when you've gone and all that business. And it was never that, it was always a fun time. Name that tune. Yes, the show where a lucky contestant could win more than £1,200 in cash. A star prize. This superb four band radio, including double cassette studio tape recorder, to give you hours of greater music enjoyment. And the chance to win this. Yes, a big prize on this week's Name That Tune. Maggie Moon, Sheba, and the orchestra conducted by Alan Braden. Now let's meet tonight's two contestants, Irene Pryor from Glasgow, a school meal supervisor, Irene is married and has two children. And from Guildford, Surrey, Arthur Berry, an accounts representative. Now meet your host and compare for this evening, ladies and gentlemen, Tom O'Connor! Thank you, good evening. Welcome to the show. A special welcome, of course, to Irene and Arthur, our contestants, who have been selected in advance for their knowledge of popular music. And tonight they're going to play four games together in our show, but only one will go through to the big prize tune. Who will that be? We'll see later on. Right now, though, we've got to get some money straight on the board with Melody Roulette. What I'm going to do, folks, is spin the wheel a maximum of five times. Wherever that wheel stops, that's the amount of money you'll win if you name the tune being played. Hopefully, then, that amount will be doubled by our outer wheel there, the big double bubble wheel up there. And hopefully, it's going to double 100 each time, making a, a possible total of £600 to the winner of the game. So we wish you well. Hands by your sides. Get as near to the buttons as you can, though. And let's spin to see what we win. Not a bad start. So, double 25 for 50 pounds. Name that tune. Irene. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Is right for 50 pounds. Well played, Irene. For a hundred pounds, name that tune. Arthur. Downtown. Downtown is right. Well done. <laughs> 